Hello and welcome to Grocer Pod. My name is Sean Kasednar. Today I'm joined in the studio by Logan Bayless, AWG's e-commerce manager. We are going to be talking about how and why AWG members need to be prioritizing online shopping right now. Before we get to Logan, I want to remind you to please subscribe to Grocer Pod. Subscribing means new episodes will be downloaded for you each week. You can find Grocer Pod on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or any other platform you use. Thanks for joining me today, Logan. No problem, Sean. Great to be here. Yeah, so you haven't been around AWG long. Um, people might not know you. Uh, how about you just introduce yourself, so what, what you do, and how long you've been here? Sure. So, well, so I've been with uh, AWG for about four months. I am uh, the e-commerce manager, so I, I do manage the uh, kind of the traditional e-commerce online shopping channels. Uh, I also oversee our digital coupon and loyalty programs, as well as our web services. Uh, so prior to AWG, I worked with H&R Block franchise owners to uh, you know modernize those traditional traditional retail brick and mortar businesses uh, into uh, omni-channel. Um, so what we can talk a little bit more about omni-channel uh, later in the podcast, but uh, trying to keep that company and those independent business owners competitive with some of the bigger players in that industry. Prior to that role, I worked with Sprouts Farmers Market and, and marketing. So I had some experience on the retailer side as far as activating and trying to create awareness about digital properties, especially for customers. Nice. So yeah, uh, some grocery experience, some independent uh, retailer experience. That's really great. Um, I don't know how much of the back catalog of Grocery Pod you've had a chance to listen to in the four months you've been here, but um, getting our our members onto online shopping has been a frequent topic, uh, something that I bring up and emphasize quite a lot because before I was uh, in the photography role that I am in now, I was in the marketing department and running the email uh, marketing platform. And so I was talking about that a lot. And so this is something that we've been trying to, you know, get our members to really embrace. And so why now in 2023, is it just even more important than it ever has been? Well, uh, th that's a great question. So uh, it, it is it is very, uh, I would say it's urgent for our retailers to really start exploring uh, e-commerce and online shopping capabilities. And primarily, uh, you know, we want, we want to think about you know, what's your competitive market look like? Uh, so currently, you know, Walmart alone captures 36% of all U.S. online grocery shopping. Uh, that's huge, right? So uh, if you have a Walmart in your area or any other competitor in your area that's already offering online shopping, I would say uh, you need to, you know, uh, look into it as soon as possible. Now, if not, we, you know, there's some situations where it may not be the best choice for your business if, if you're in a more remote rural area. Uh, unless that, that consumer demand is already there. Uh, we know that some retailers are fulfilling uh, orders manually. They're, they're doing it over the phone. They're doing it over email. So in that case, you know, I, I would probably consider it. Uh, but, you know, I, I think it's also a little overwhelming to a lot of our independent retailers. They may think, you know, why even try? I, I just don't have the resources to compete with the big chains that might be employing hundreds or even thousands of staff working in that area alone. Uh, but, but, the, but the truth is, you know, there's an entire growing industry around solving this problem for the independent retailer who has limited resources. Uh, you know, at AWG, we're really trying to help level the playing field for our member retailers uh, by, by vetting and partnering with various technology providers to uh, provide unique solutions for our members to create that customer experience that really rivals uh, that that online or omni-channel experience that a customer might see with a big chain. And we're going to get to what those uh, options are, but I'm going to throw you a, a question that you may not actually be ready to answer yet. Okay. But one of the things that when, when we're talking about any new program or getting uh, retailers to start a program is they always want to know who else is doing it. Do you know how many, uh, like what percentage of AWG members have some sort of e-commerce? You know, uh, we, we think that it's somewhere around 20 to 25 percent of the total number of rooftops anyways that that have some sort of e-commerce solution, whether that's white label e-commerce or connection with a marketplace solution. Some of those partnerships uh, are through AWG and some of those our retailers have sourced on their own. So uh, we don't have an exact number, but we we think it's, you know, it's far less than half. I can I can uh, be pretty confident in saying that. But 
that even with that being said, th- that twenty five percent is making up some of our most successful members, and and they provide really good examples for the other members to look to. Right. Yeah. And and if you're if you're a retailer listening to this, and you're you know considering e-commerce, I, I would definitely say talk to us, but yeah, talk to other retailers, other member retailers with AWG and you know get some feedback from them because there are a variety of different solutions out there. Earlier, you mentioned a term omni-channel. Um, I th- it's something that's come up uh, from time to time on the show, but for anyone that doesn't know, can you define what o- an omni-channel shopper is? Sure. You know, I was actually a little surprised by the definition when uh, it was discussed in a recent industry roundtable hosted by Brick Meets Click, who, uh, if you don't know, is a data aggregator and forecaster of e-commerce trends and grocery. Uh, so, so in our industry, the omni-channel shopper is primarily an in-store shopper. And this is uh, actually, I had assumed that, you know, I think like most people, that the omni-channel shopper, since we talk about this type of shopper in the context of digital, uh, is primarily a digital shopper. But that's not the case. So, uh, you know, and, and honestly, this describes my family of six perfectly. So as an example, this shopper may do the bulk of their shopping in store, uh, but they may do an online order when it's convenient for them, right? Due to competing priorities such as maybe kids practices, uh, church events. Uh, but another way to look at this omnichannel shopper is someone who may do all of their uh, shopping in store, but they have multiple digital touch points with you as the retailer. So for example, they may uh, go onto your website or your app to clip digital coupons, which they can use in the store. They may check their rewards points, uh, look at sales and, or digital circulars, build a shopping list. Um, but then, you know, most of their, their shopping is done in store. So really this is the most lucrative and growing segment that we need to be focused on as an industry. How urgent is it for our member retailers to look into e-commerce? I know we kind of touched on that uh, already, but just highlight that again. You, you know, I I think it's it's common for uh, retailers uh, to look at that sharp sharp upwards trend and online shopping that we saw during the pandemic, uh, followed by the subsequent drop and lose a sense of urgency to get online. But the reality is uh, the online shopping uh, is still an up in, on an upward trajectory with, uh, you know, currently the latest data I've seen is the year over year online grocery sales are up 17%. Uh, you know, and looking forward into the future, Right now, uh, Gen Z represents the smallest segment of total grocery sales, but they have the highest ratio of online grocery sales. So as this uh, generation grows, as their families grow, and you know they start doing more, more grocery shopping rather than eating out, uh, we're, it's, it's going to be more important than ever to have some sort of uh, online shopping capability. So what can the independent grocer do to stay competitive without a lot of technical background or large marketing department dedicated to online shopping? So that's a great question. And that's one that we hear a lot when we talk to our retailers. But the short answer is to get someone else to do the work for you. So so honestly, that's really our purpose here uh, with the marketing and advertising department at AWG. Uh, We understand that most of our member owners just don't have the capacity to vet and negotiate the many different technology solutions out there. So last week we attended the grocery shop convention in Las Vegas. There were so many providers competing in the same spaces for AI-based shopper marketing, e-commerce, digital coupons. It truly can be overwhelming. So, you know, at AWG, we partner with those to, we feel, provide the best value and functionality for our members' needs. Uh, You know, and we're we're here to consult with our members and understand their unique needs so that we can work through some of these different solutions and find something that works best for their business. Yeah. Can you be a little bit more specific on how you help your member, or our members, sorry, find a solution to their business? Well, so let's look at, you know, what their options would be right now. They, They can explore the market on their own, uh, or they could go with a uh, marketing agency. And so uh, we, we know that there are digital marketing agencies out there that are selling one size fits all packages to retailers. At AWG, we have the flexibility to offer a variety of solutions for our member retailers. Uh, for example, you know we won't push members into a set bundle of services, some of which they may not really need in their specific markets, right? So we talked about analyzing competitive markets and and their existing customer demand. And that's really the benefit of working with a co-op that that 
as opposed to the, a standalone marketing agency that's only focused on making a sale. You know, we, we truly want to do what's best for our members because, you know, that helps to secure all of our futures. Uh, with, with that being said, though, it, it can be difficult to know where to start. So we do have a couple of suggested uh, digital marketing bundles, which we call our Retail Marketing Network, RMN Standard, and Plus Packages. Uh, these serve as starting points in our conversations with retailers that we suggest based on uh, various factors such as maybe store count, sales volume, and their and their competitive markets. So at a basic level, you know, that might include uh, programs such as just an optimized website, uh, housing their digital coupons to provide that additional value to their customers, along with maybe some planned email and social media content. At a higher level, uh, we, we would suggest adding in some type of online shopping capabilities, whether that's a marketplace solution or a white label e-commerce solution, uh, along with a shopper rewards program capable of AI powered customer segmentation. So, uh, you know, and that, that's the big topic. Uh, that was the big topic at Grocery Shop is uh, Everybody's moving into the space of AI-powered uh, shopper, personalized shopper marketing, data analytics, and uh, you know, besides having an online shopping capability, uh, that's a r another really important part for for those uh, retailers that are in really competitive markets. I know that retailers out there are going to hear things like AI and think, oh, wow, I am not ready for that. I, I have no idea what that's going to entail. Um, what do you have to like, you know, ease some of those concerns? Because I know that I, I know that your team is here to really like do the work for the retailer. So can right. you just uh, make them feel a little bit better about about the possibility of adding some of these things? <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, the, the term AI is thrown around a lot. Uh, so when we're talking about AI powered uh, shopper marketing, uh, what we're really talking about is on the back end, uh, you know, we have machine learning capabilities with these different programs where uh, the algorithms can uh, come to learn what what products a customer wants. In addition to, uh, you know, if, if this customer is what we call a loss shopper, so they haven't, uh, they've stopped spending money in your store or their uh, downward migration that they're, you know, they were spending a certain amount and it's dropped below a certain point. So we can set up those parameters on the back end and we can create uh, specific offers to try to bring those customers back uh, or um, to incentivize your existing customers to purchase more based on the type of shopping they're already doing. So that might come in the form of an email uh, auto-generated for that customer that displays uh, existing manufacturer coupons that are already in your co digital coupon gallery, but they have been uh, tailored and, and front-loaded, so to speak, to this customer so that uh, they're more likely to clip and, and then convert. Yeah, and that's just all done in the background, and the retailer doesn't actually have to do anything other than you know provide the program. Right, that's the beauty of it. And so I think for the independent retailer who does have limited resources, uh, taking advantage of these some of these technologies solutions is is imperative for them because you know a lot of, like like you said a lot of the work is being done in the background if a retailer is interested in learning more about optimizing their online presence and growing their business where should they start well like I said earlier they can certainly reach out to me directly and just mention what they're interested in exploring as far as online shopping or or other digital marketing solutions that we we offer so my email address is Logan at awginc.com. Um, I'll also say if, you know, if you're listening to this, you're not really sure where to start, uh, we're happy to just set up a call, uh, talk through where you are at right now and what opportunities we see in your market and with your business. And we can just work together to, to uh, offer some solutions. So again, my email address is logan.bayless at awginc.com. Thanks for joining me today, Logan. I will have your email address in the show notes. And thank you all for listening. Again, please like and subscribe to Grocer Pod so you can automatically hear all the latest things going on around AWG. And until next time, this has been Shanka Sednar for Grocer Pod. Mm -hmm.